Hey everybody, I'm Sean Cummings with my wife Kathy and the Gourmet Grill for Buy For Less. And today, we're gonna give you a little lesson on mashed potatoes and then souping them up a little bit. Kathy is complaining furiously <laughs> because we've had to have her well, mash I all of get our potatoes. To mash the potato. <laughs> and I'm telling you, you'd act like this was difficult. The difference between restaurant potatoes and home potatoes are this, butter. Okay. We'll throw an entire stick of butter in here, about half of a deal of sour cream in here, and yes, I'm keeping her working while I'm doing it. Who or could you ask could use a hand mixer. A hand mixer would work, but it's terrible on TV because it makes that weird noise. A little bit of salt. Use some salt in there, okay? And don't be afraid of it. Salt's actually a good thing unless you're on a salt-free diet. <laughs> Fresh cracked pepper. Now, I just smash this down with a spoon. It really does alter the flavor. It makes stuff. all the difference and in the world. And it makes it wonderful. Highland has these little milk things in case you just want it. I use whole milk. Kathy uses 2%. Now, she's got all that done. We'll just leave her working for a second and stare at her uncomfortably. What I wanted to do Where's is show you, show you how to trick out potatoes a little bit. I brought three different things. These are green onions that I've cooked with a little bit of milk. I know it looks nasty, but when I mix it with the mashed potatoes, they make a wonderful, wonderful <laughs> flavor. This is a roasted red pepper mix. It has a little bit of garlic, a little bit of chili in there. Absolutely fabulous as well. When I did cooking Ooh. classes, that one came in second. That's my favorite. The most popular, however, bacon and cheese. I don't know what the deal is with Americans. They love bacon, they love cheese, and if you throw sour cream into the mix, you can't ask for anything more. There you go. So what we're going to do is take this out, we're going to throw a decent okay. amount of mashed potatoes in each one of these dishes, and then we're going to mix it up and see how they taste, okay? There's one, one there's two, two, and here's number three, and have some fun with it. You can overdo it or underdo it. You really don't have to be concerned that one is going to overdo the other, right. okay? Our green onions, and I know it looks kind of strange, but the green onions, you can even do this with instant mashed potatoes and people really won't know that they're instant. Yeah, they're excellent. The flavor on them is absolutely fabulous. Your roasted red pepper one, just a spoonful in there. Don't go crazy with it, the flavor is powerful, but it makes an absolutely beautiful entree. Yeah, the color is gorgeous. All right, bacon and cheddar, throw as much bacon and cheddar as you want in there. I got a four cheese one this time. And this is actually decent bacon crumbles. They've got some salt in it. Some of them don't have enough salt. I actually really like that one. And a fair amount of cheese. And we'll leave this to Kathy to go ahead and mix that one up. Oh, thanks. I'm gonna taste this one and see how it is. This one is my favorite, the roasted red pepper. Oh, well, that's my favorite too. That's got great flavor. For this and more recipes, buyforlessok.com. Happy holidays, Try all these, I'm telling you, this one <laughs> is the winner every single time. We'll see y'all next time around. Happy holidays, too. Bye-bye.